survival games. There are many different adaptations of the survival game genre, some more successful than others, some more unique than others. Although most survival games have differences from one another, they normally follow the same sort of concept. You spawn as a lone human survivor, you battle for resources, make a base, and complete a selection of very simple tasks like getting food and water, and as you progress these challenges get more difficult, however the more simple tasks get that bit more simple because you progress to a point where you can unlock tools and different items to support you with your journey. However, with all the different survival games that I've ever played, I've never been a creature within a survival world. Very quickly, just before we get into today's video, I've actually unlocked memberships on my channel now. It is 99 pence a month. Our first member, huge shout out to Jeed. In the videos, I'm gonna be giving shout outs to different members and stuff, and hopefully putting you at the end credits as well. So if you do want to become a member and support the channel, they are now unlocked. Anyways, enjoy the video. The Isle definitely has quite a different take on the traditional survival game meta. Playing as a creature really does provide a different sort of experience than that of the basic playing as a human survivor, trying to survive whatever terrible event which has happened. You are spawned into a world with other people who are also creatures, and you can battle and eat one another, and you rely on the environment to sustain you as a player within the world. That environment not only created by the game in itself, but also the other players which are a part of the server which you've joined. If I had to summarize the Isle as a game in general, you spawn as a dinosaur, you can choose what type of dinosaur you want to be at the start of the game, and then you play the game as that dinosaur, leveling yourself up, trying to build yourself into a bigger, better version of the smaller scale dinosaur that you spawn at. Along the way, you eat, destroy, and fight your way to be the best dinosaur in whatever server you are playing. So I think by this point we've established that the Isle is quite a unique survival game, but is it actually worth playing for the price in which is asked for it? So my first sort of hour worth of gameplay consisted of me loading up the game, trying to decide which dinosaur I wanted to use. It was quite difficult at the beginning because none of the pictures for any of the dinosaurs would load. I would then be able to get into a server, but only through joining a friend of mine. I couldn't actually load any of the games myself. I was having internet issues, so it could be that, but I just want to note that the game servers did not load to begin with. Once spawning into the game, the game's actually quite fun as a very simple start to the game. It was nighttime, a fantastic feature built into the game is the night vision. So many survival games, you just cannot do anything in the nighttime because it is too dark to play. Rust, Ark Survival, both games which you cannot do anything at night time unless you have certain gear equipped because it's just too dark to do anything. The Isle thought of that, added a night vision mode and it works quite successfully. Initially I had the hood turned off however when I turned it on in some survival games the hood can be quite overbearing, there can be too much on the screen, too much things happening at once. The Isle very very simplified it literally had my hunger and my first level, very simple, small in the bottom corner, does not take up too much of the gameplay, just how I like it. Now, they probably should disclose this a little bit more when you purchase the game. However, it is important that you enable the beta mode. I found this out after a couple of hours of playing the basic standard game and the beta is significantly better. It allows for more dinosaurs to be unlocked. It unlocks a different group. So in the main game, you have carnivore and herbivore, but you actually get omnivore in this game as well. It unlocks a ton of new dinosaurs, including ones that can fly and the super OP crocodile, which I enjoy playing as well. So I would say that definitely enable the beta. They should make that evidently more clear in my opinion and it should be automatically enabled because it is just the newer version of the game. So overall how did I find my game experience whilst playing the Isle? Now some positives which I have to say is I really enjoyed the different variety of different creatures and how different creatures have different abilities and different things that they can do and also have different growth rates as well depending on what sort of creature you choose. I thought the way the different creatures adapt to different environments, for example the crocodile is very slow on land but very fast in the water, the pterodon can fly, and a variety of different dinosaurs have different abilities. Overall I would say the Isle is quite an interesting take on the survival game genre. There isn't another game out there that I played where you can play as a literal dinosaur running around a world and part of your needs actually being met by eating and hunting the other players within that world environment. I thought the game was quite unique in that sense. 
Moving on from the positives onto the negatives. Whilst playing the game, I did run into a bug. The bug was that when I tried to eat a fish as the crocodile, it totally just messed me up and then I had to sign out and sign back in and it was the right pain. Whilst actually trying to start up the game, not necessarily a bug, but not having the beta initially enabled and having to go into the settings and add that to unlock like the other half of the content. I just thought that's such a simple fix for them to do. I don't know why they just wouldn't do that anyway. And lastly, I'd say the gameplay can get a bit stale and a bit boring. It can be that you're literally just running around until you find someone. It's fun while you're in battles with people. It's fun while you're hunting. It's fun while you're growing and leveling up your character. But the second you kind of run into a bit of a stalemate of just kind of running about for a bit, not really doing really much, can't really find any food to eat, it becomes quite tedious and a bit boring. For $14.99 though, you can't really go wrong. I would definitely say they valued the game fairly when they put it at that price. If you are a fan of survival games and fancy a little bit of a change to your standard survival game, then maybe the aisle is for you. Fade away.